Yes. Hello and welcome to the Alchemist Bride channel. Um, and I'm the bride. Uh, welcome to my lab where I will be creating drawing experiments to get better at drawing. Oh wait, my life. I am. I forgot how to stream apparently, <laughs> and um, forgot my own. Forgot everything. I was um, stream. Hang on, because Streamlabs like moved music on me, and it says that it's playing, but it's not. And I want music. I don't know, um, I don't want to do that, how do I, man, see this is what happens when you take time off, I, this is, this is what I get, I deserve this, oh wait, maybe, hang on, uh, how, it took me, like, I didn't even have any, and now I'm addicted to the music, I didn't have music on the first several streams that I had, maybe like the first 10 streams that I have, and now that I've had the music, I want it, but I'm not sure why I'm not getting it. So, hang on, let me try maybe a different, try the volume in your mixer. Yeah. Mm. I'll just like beatbox until I find it. And they, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, what's the top? I don't want lyrics though. Oh, here's chill. Oh, and there's tornado sirens too. Cool. I don't know if it's a test or if it's a tornado. We'll find out. <laughs> so, are we gonna play now? I want music, please. Give me the music that I want. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the sirens are loud. Okay. Anyway, I'm back. And once I get music going, I'm going to draw something. I think, actually, uh, I'm going to draw these ships. Um, let me just get this, like, on, on screen. Wait, ooh, that's not even... I don't even have the right file open. What am I even doing? Is it this one? Give me a sec. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so now... Oh, no, no, there's sirens. Because it's the first Tuesday of the month. I don't know where it is anywhere else, but where I live on the first Tuesday of the month, they test the tornado sirens. Although, apparently, we did have an actual tornado hit our house um, for all of 10 seconds in EF0. Um, and I remember hearing just, like, it sounded like something was slapping our house. And then I looked later, <laughs> and it was like an EF0. Winds were like 80 miles an hour. And I was like, oh, I bet that was us, because the time lined up and everything. So I was like, I guess that's was a tornado so I've lived through a tornado anyway um and the sirens by the way did not go off <laughs> that you know otherwise I would have sought here we go here's the art otherwise I would have sought shelter out but there were no sirens despite the fact that there was one I would say 80 percent chance that we were hit by a tornado so we're having some crazy spring weather but I will take spring weather because I'm ready for spring and it sounds, it's good. I'm, I'm, I like spring. I'm ready for spring. I still don't have music. This is going to bug me. I mean, it says that I do, but I don't. So why don't I? I want to hear it. I got really into it. And it's, I don't, and now I can't, now I muted it. If anyone knows how to, they like change the music. What if I remove all? Oh! Okay, what? Why did that work? I'm not gonna complain about it, but it said turn off all the audio sources. So let me. Oh. Was it playing in the stream? It does. If it does that, I can't hear it. So we mess with this. Alright, well, okay, what if I go back to the music? You can probably hear it though, right? <laughs> what a train wreck this is so far. Okay, what if I turn it back on as an audio source? Play music on your stream. Okay. Mm, music? Let's put it. 
Oh, it went away now. Okay, so but how do I get it back? Oh, there we go. Now I can control it again. That's all I want. I had that selected before. Let me know. Can you hear me okay now? I assume that you can. Okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Six minutes later. Um, welcome to the Alchemist Bride channel. I am the bride. This is my lab. I'm doing drawing experiments to get better at drawing. So I'm still drawing this like See, it's been a while, so I even have to remind myself what I was doing. I was on vacation last week, um, and now I'm back from it, and I still need I still need to do this. So, if you are new to the channel, I am developing artwork for an, a forthcoming comic called The Alchemist Bride. It will be on Webtoon. Unclear on when, um, but I'm doing all the concept art and prep art so that I have stuff that I can reference um, while I the jam. while I while I go to draw it um, because it's all made up stuff it's not New York City it's like made up countries and stuff so anyway I wanted to have a really unique look so I'm drawing everything myself but I have to learn how to draw a bunch of stuff so this is a watch me learn how to draw things or not learn how to draw them sometimes too um, also I have my voice back mostly. I didn't have my, I lost my voice after I had done a Comic Con like, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was. And um, I came and did, did a stream and it was very, very squeaky. And um, I think I sound a little bit better, though that's relative to what my voice usually is. So. Let me try to get a little less squeaky with some hydration. And now, okay, so I'm, I'm so I want to do this artwork for this comic that I'm making. And um, that's what I'm practicing. So let me get back to the scene on the docks. It's, it's, so we have a palace, which I can bring up here. Let's make this make sense. There is, um, so there's this palace and all of the ships float under this palace. There's like a moat underneath. And so we're looking at the underneath part of this palace. Um, and so this ship, here is really important narratively, um, so I'm trying to get it right, uh, but I don't know how to draw ships, so I'm learning. We're all learning this morning, um, and that's that's what I'm working on. So it looks like I left off on just trying to draw in some detail on it, um, and I think also when I finish this drawing, um, I'm going to have to draw it separately as well from different angles just so I can reference it but um yeah that's what I that's what I will be doing so See what happens. I'm drawing. I haven't drawn this specifically in a while. I've been drawing some other stuff related to blossoms. And like, also, if I am, if I seem lower, it's because my chair kind of broke. The hydraulics don't work anymore, so I can't like pick myself up. But luckily, it's settled in at a comfortable height, so I'm okay with it. It's still a really comfortable chair. It just doesn't go up and down like I like I'd like it to. I think I play with it too much. Anyway, moving on. Let's get into this. Uh, whole ordeal here. I was trying to figure out. Oh, I remember what I was doing last time. The last thing I was doing was I was working on designing the, um, the wheel. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's the desk. I remember. I don't want. Let's 
could, but it's the stream left I'm still at, right? Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it, but if somebody knows how to delete things from the chat while it's happening, that would probably be useful in case anybody... I don't know, I'm not trying to control what people may or may not say, but just in case. Something like this. I don't want it. I don't want bots. Um, it looks like my plan here was uh, to so this is really about oh yeah see here's the wheel all right I'm acquainted with it now oh that's my vanishing point yep wheel. Oh I, oh, oh, I did the wheel twice. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm reacquainted with it now. I'm prepared. It only took 12 minutes, which isn't terrible. In my quest to get music, I'm not even sure what playlist I picked. Okay. Oh, chill. Okay. This doesn't sound like the same chill, though. I bet they mixed it up. <laughs> hey! Hey! I saw... It's twice now. I've seen everything everywhere all at once. Twice. It was excellent. It deserved all of the awards that it got. That's, that's how I feel about that. It was really good. I've seen it twice. I would watch it again. I wasn't even a little bored the second time. It's so good! It's so good. I wish I had seen it sooner. It was really, really good. I very much enjoyed it like a lot. Everybody in it was absolutely excellent and it was visually like outstanding. I don't know. Yeah, it's so good. I would watch it again for sure. Um, really, really good. The end was kind of long, but I'm not, I'm, it wasn't like it dragged on. It wasn't boring. It was just like, oh, okay. We're really like closing this out and letting it kind of simmer. Oh, my music is too loud. Okay, thank you. I was struggling with music. Is that better? I was struggling with music at the top of the, at the top of the, at the top of the stream because it wasn't the change of setting. Okay, good. Better by, can you still hear the music? Because if you are, it's a trumpet jam. I don't know if the, if the music comes through on, okay, great. I, I don't know if the music comes through the stream or through my speakers or kind of both, technically. Um, I'm not sure how to fix that either, but if we're about even, then good. Good, I'm glad. Um, but yeah, Every, anything, everything everywhere all at once was really, really good. Long story short. I don't want to actually mean it. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to be shouting at people. I am! I got my voice back. I took a week off. I am. I know, I'm not a tech person either, but thank you. I am feeling better. That's what I was saying. I got my voice back. I'm feeling okay. I was, I think I was just really tired from the show. It was a lot of travel. I left initially, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday show, and I left um, Friday morning at 2.30 2 in the morning, and then I didn't get back to sleep until like, like 11.30 on Friday, so I think my body was really tired, which included my, oh, I'm sure, um, but I think like when my body was that tired, my vocal cords were tired, and like I wasn't really like eating and drinking when I was supposed to be, or what I was supposed to be, and so, I don't know, shows are really hard. You have to limit them. The people that do them, I props to the people that do them like every other week, and maybe they don't go as hard as I do. Maybe they just kind of like roll in and show up, but I go pretty hard, so I pay for it. <laughs> but yes, now, now I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good. I think I'm mostly recovered. Having a week off, I'll 
hopefully that will help make this improve everything across the board, including this like, ship situation. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Sure, what I want. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Why would I have a little key? Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bring them over! Let them witness the chaos that is. Now that my sound levels are better and my voice is back, it might be. It might be a better stream. <laughs> No worries. I was saying at the top that there's somebody that spammed me and I don't know who it was, but they were like, we offer bots. I'm like, I don't want bots. I want people. I don't, I don't need like, I mean, it's, it's a numbers game, but it's not a numbers game. I'm drawing anyway. And I was like, well, that's content. I might as well put it out there. But I also like talking to the actual people. If it's just a bunch of bots, what's the point? Um, I mean, other than I assume it becomes financially viable, but I'm not even close to that, so I'm not worried about it. But, uh, put your chat in remote only. What does that mean? Oh, because, like, the bot things? Oh. I don't even know how to do that. Nah. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not too, too worried about it, but. Oh, alright. I'll be here until noon or possibly longer because we'll see how long I gotta finish this today. We'll see how long this takes. Ooh, my numbers were messed up. Let me just have something. I gotta finish this. I don't know if I can help Hard from this angle. Boats are hard. Boat, more boat. Let's see. To be honest, I um, I wasn't working on something else, and I lost track of time. And then I looked at the clock, and it was 9:57, and I stream at 10 o'clock. So I I was taken aback by the uh, by the music not working. I expected to just be able to log back in and have it all go ready to go, but you know, I wasn't. Obviously. <laughs> so that is, this is the part inside, like here, where people can stand in. So this would have like this kind of thing. So if you had, a person could be standing here, a person could be standing here, a person could be sitting like this, right? You know, a person could, could 
I might need to move this back actually. Oh, I don't know how to fix this. Excuse me. Or whatever. So anyway, somebody could be standing like here, and, like looking out, right, or towing the rope, maybe tying it to the pole thing, something like that. Unsure, but I believe the space is believable now, so this is good. And then these. these These should be the these should be parallel. And this top one looks good, so I'm gonna fix it up. Twitch had the streams live on Twitch for all of you catching up on YouTube, but um, Twitch has goals for followers, like almost like achievements. Like if you're playing a video game and it's like, oh, collect 50 whatever batarangs, <laughs> you're playing a Batman game or whatever it is. Um, and the goal for this channel is to get 10 subscribers, which I have nine. No followers. I don't have subscribers yet. I don't have enough followers. I think you need something like, and the rules will probably change. I'll probably get up to 990 followers and they'll be like, no, you need 3,000 or whatever by then. But anyway, um, the goal is to get 1,000 followers, but in my first week, or my first time, I'm supposed to get 10. And I'm at 9, so we'll see if today's the day. Appreciative to all nine of you and appreciative to all my subscribers on YouTube. Thank you. It helps me. It helps. It's nice to have an audience knowing that somebody is consuming the content and it's not totally in a vacuum. Um, I mean, art's kind of meant to be seen and interacted with, so even if it's not the best, it's still nice. I want this to like. Oh, it's throwing me off here about this. Okay. Ooh, I think that actually, I think I fixed it. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not sure what I did, but I think I fixed that one. All right, let's get boards in here. This is all wood, so these are planks, right? So this curves up like a little bit. Maybe it's okay. If I did that and it would make it easier to draw. The tip comes up. Okay. Is that what boats do? I don't really know. I'm looking, I have a big old book here. It's all ships. <laughs> And it's got a bunch of sailing books and stuff. And I have this other book, Wooden Boat Building. I should just read it from cover to cover. And, oh, I think this is actually what I like. This kind of thing. I mean, very technical books. What? I mean, I want to know. I got these from the library, by the way. Props to your local library. Thank you for your service. But. Who is, I want to know who is going to the library, getting this book, and then building a boat, and not just 
like looking about like who if there's anybody out there that went to the library got a book like this and built their own boat i am eternally impressed that is you know because you got to return them eventually and i am coming due which is why i need to finish these drawings because i got these books mm, january sometime and we're in april i think i only have three months with them so i might they might uh give me a call here and be like hey you have some books overdue I'm like but i'm still streaming i'm still making this stuff um yeah Ooh, you know what this page actually helped me again props to the local library i'm gonna fix this this page helped me i'm going to put uh, oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I'll do the full two hours today. I have a lot of drawing to catch up on. For sure. Yes. Definitely told these man. I'm all, I'm all better. As far as I can tell. For the foreseeable future. I'm not even sure I know what it is. <laughs> I've seen it before. I've seen it while streaming. I think it's like when just people come to your channel and like say hey in groups, which cool. I'm in. I like visitors. Mama say hi. Oh, I want this to look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want this to look like the beach. Maybe this doesn't have this at all. This is awkward to draw. It just has shingles going up. So, because remember from last time, I uh, was trying to make this look kind of like bird feathers. This ship is named after an osprey. So maybe it's named after an osprey because it kind of looks like an osprey. It flies like an osprey. After it's done, you'll have to tell me how you <laughs> how you read. But I don't want to, I want to be surprised right now. But I'm definitely intrigued. Oh, huh, all right. Yeah, I don't get things. I don't get affiliate things. <laughs> I'm not even sure I actually like. Yeah, I'm not sure what I get or don't get. I don't, I get it. I mean. We'll see. Although there was somebody, I saw somebody who I follow on Twitch where they, and I don't know what the split is. I mean, I am like bottom rung, small fish um, in terms of streamers. However, like there was um, one of the streamers that I follow was upset because Twitch wouldn't do 70 30. So there must be some sort of like, I don't know, negotiation at some point when you hit a certain number of followers or you have a certain number of interactions or whatever it is which just seems like a lot to me I don't even know if I'm I, I want to deal with that but they were upset because they wouldn't do 70 30 so they were looking to change their stream to like a different platform uh oh well I have a lot of hours I've probably done I don't know 40 hours at least I mean, maybe after three months or so I think I started in January I can't remember who was earlier late January, but I have lots of hours, so hopefully Twitch is like, hey, she's a person. As though there's no box to type, like, am I human? <laughs> am I? Am I? Oh, all right. Well, I guess we'll find out. But I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited to find out, even if it doesn't. I appreciate, I appreciate the thought. Thank you. It'll be a win today if I can just get this boat to look boatish also so the, the followers or the read people or the I don't even know what to call them sirs the sirs and madams uh, will, will be like a bonus let's, let's get this let's get this ship line uh, all right so this should be cargo here This is a, I can't remember how much I said about it. This is like a, it's 
sort of like a smuggler ship. <laughs> These guys are smugglers and they're on their way to a party with nobles. The lead character is not a smuggler. She's a she's an alchemist, but actually she sh she showed up briefly when you click uh, follow. She's the little gift that comes up, but uh, she's on a ship with smugglers because that was you know what she could find at the time. I can't even, I don't think I can even do emotes yet. I need to look into it. Like I said, I took a vacation. I can't even get my music going this morning. My goodness. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. For a while, I felt like I had everything. Do I have, I think I do have an emote. Let me look. Let me look. Um... I thought I did. It might not even let me use them. Alright, how do I? Alright, affiliate search. Okay, okay. Because I wanted to make them. Oh. Um. I started clicking on stuff now. Hopefully I don't interrupt my own stream. I was, oh, I'll check that. okay. Oh, I see, I now I see the setting for emotes only chat, okay. Oh, you could always make it followers only chat. I think I'll do that. What if I turn that on? At least, yeah. Yeah, 10 minutes, sure. All right, I've already learned. I've already learned something new. <laughs> it means more emotes. Well, maybe with okay, but if they don't allow raids, as I understand it, then how do you get more followers to get more subs to get more emotes? Are they locking people out of their emotes? I want emotes. I'll make tons of emotes. Oh, okay, smart. Yep, let me turn it back. Yep, nope, I don't want I don't want that. I think maybe that's why I didn't turn it off in the first place. Uh, off. Yes, okay. Do that. What are mod icons? Is that a dumb question? Well, now I'm like kind of nervous. Let me hydrate for a second. That's what I want. I want it to be organically. But they want it organically, but it's like they also want you to promote it like entirely yourself on a following that you have before you stream, kind of. Like they're like stared on your social media. But nobody really pays attention, like on Twitch, nobody pays attention to my posts. So even if I was saying, oh, okay, I'm okay with it. I like this very no pressure situation I'm in. I like that you know. <laughs> I need I need I need you all to know. Cause I don't know. I just draw the things with with limited with sporadic with sporadic levels of success. Yay! Thank you. No, it's super helpful. That's what I figured. I think that's, like, I was like, I... What I'd like to actually do, and I wouldn't mind doing it for some people, is because sometimes, um, people are looking... I did this... This is what actually... This is what got me into streaming in the first place. Somebody who I follow on YouTube reached out and asked me to create their streaming framework and branding for them. And... I mean, I wouldn't actually mind doing that for other people too. Obviously, I did it for myself here, and it was fun. But 
you know, if people wanted gifts. I mean, I animate, I do animated gifts and stuff like that. So I would love to be able to start creating like the little emotes and all of that stuff. I think that's the funnest part of Twitch, to be honest. Otherwise, I might as well just be on YouTube. Although I think YouTube is getting some of it too, but I like it. I like that it's new. I like that I'm trying it. I'm a gamer, so it works out. I happen to be playing Horizon Forbidden West, but nobody would want to watch me stream a video game. It would be painful. <laughs> Because I very much play, like, like, um, really poorly at first. Like, I go through a process of elimination and battles and stuff where it looks like I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing until I can kind of, like, learn the best way to do it. And then I get through. But there is a real try and, trial and error process with pretty much any, especially action games, um, where I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it. And then it takes a little bit of time, so... Probably got like panels going like this. Yeah, this is the center here. shingles on these two. Okay. All right. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I just want to know, I just want to, I want to experience everything that Twitch like does as a platform. Like what makes it what makes it twitch because it's cool but I feel like I'm not getting the whole thing so yeah I'm I'm up for it let's go <laughs> and if not there is this quote that I just heard recently that I really like which is like you didn't miss your chance you missed a chance and I think that's a really powerful message like okay let's say I messed it up that's okay I don't think I will. I think I've got it too. <laughs> I must with supporters like you. Bam, bam. Shameless plug. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I know. Yeah, I know. I know nothing, so it's all bonus at this point. I think that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. I mean, I really appreciate like being told that my music was too loud. Like, thank you, I have absolutely no idea. Sometimes I'm not even, I didn't look up at my drawing for a while, so just knowing that people are there and hanging out is awesome. That's really, I don't know what else to say, that's really super cool. <laughs> I was thinking, cause I have that show um, called Blossoms and I've been working on it recently and the fact that people have favorite characters to me is so wild like something I made people have you know a, a, an opinion of, enough about to say like oh Mimi's my favorite or Cece's my favorite and the fact that they feel a connection to any character with anything that I made is really cool and I feel similarly here like the fact that you know the, I, I don't want to call you a customer but like a returning customer wants to come back and engage and kind of like help is honestly the best the best feedback that there is in terms of um, I, being an artist but being anything else too I think that's super it's not just like oh yeah that was cool um, I like that people are you know into it that's great and hopefully there will be enough that I can launch a comic with some moderate success <laughs> but if not I'm doing the comic anyway so you know, just like I'm drawing it anyway, so hopefully people are, people are feeling it. I think it's really good. I keep writing and adding to it, and every time I add to it, I'm like, oh god, this moment in the comic is going to be so good, or this, this art in the comic is going to be so good, or at least I hope so if I keep practicing. And I have noticed, I think, with all the practice, I mean, this is a bonus too, but that I have gotten a little bit better that I can tell, and so um, 
just across the board, this has been a really good experience, so I totally appreciate it, for sure, for sure. Um, but I'd like emotes. I don't even really, I just want the emote part. I don't even care. I mean, the followers are nice, obviously, numbers are important um, for a lot of reasons, but, uh, you know, I want emotes and gifts. <laughs> Hashtag goals. YouTube sends you a plaque after you get 100,000 subscribers or something like that. I'm like, I just want a plaque. It sounds amazing. It just sounds amazing. I just put that right on my wall. I didn't even know they had a plaque, then I found out they did. Whoa! Hey! Hi! Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's crazy! Oh! I've never seen this before! This is wild! Hello! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> I don't even know what to say! Hello! Hello! This is the Alchemist Bride channel and I am the bride! Welcome to my lab, everyone! This is an experiment for drawing. I'm learning how to draw. Hello! Oh, hello, everyone! The little gift character, her name is Vanessa, and that is the alchemist. <laughs> Hi! Hi, guys! Oh, thank you for flopping over here! Hello! Oh, Nightcrawler, is that an X-Men reference? Don't get me started on X-Men. It might be something else. I just really like X-Men. Oh, hey, I'm drawing a ship. That's what you're seeing. Oh my gosh, hi! Hello! Terp derps, hello! I'll call you all out. Mistress of Torture, hello! Chronomorka? Now, now it's just gonna be a pronunciation game. Hey, hey go? Or hey o's? Like zeros. It's going great! It is an X-Men reference. Is Nightcrawler your favorite? Are you hyped for X-Men 97? Yeah, oh, go, okay. Let's go. Like, how's it going? It's going really good. Oh, that's this entire, thank you. The entire experiment has been me trying to do perspective and learning perspective. And so you saying that the perspective on this is flawless means a lot to me because that's literally all I've been working on. Oh, tattoo. Oh, I'm jealous. I don't have any tattoos, but if I did, it'd probably be of like rogue on playing cards to do like a rogue gambit thing. I don't know. Or maybe Phoenix. Phoenix is my favorite, but... Anyway, yeah, the perspective, here, this is the zoom out. I'm doing the docks on a noble palace. I'm drawing for, I'm drawing art for a comic that I'm developing that will be on Webtoon called The Alchemist Bride, but I'm doing all of like the environmental stuff first before I work on a comic because I was trying to learn perspective before I do the comic. So it's basically, so this is the docks. This is a palace. I drew this palace. Um, on the earlier part of my stream. You can see it on YouTube. They don't have it on the video on demand for Twitch anymore, but I drew this. This was my first like really perspective-y thing. I'm more of a character artist, so drawing backgrounds is really hard for me. Um, thank you. Thank you guys. Oh my god, this is the coolest. Um, and so, and then I did this uh, ballroom here. Wait, hang on. So I, then I started playing with the perspective on this ballroom. Oh no, the music's loud. Oh man, am I loud? I didn't change the music. I'm gonna turn the music down again. We've been having sound sound experiments going. Thank you. Um, so I did the perspective on this ballroom and this changed the angle again. Um, again, just playing with different angles on it. Um, and then when I got that, I did like this bedroom type thing. <laughs> which we were joking about from the different angles. And now I'm working on the docks that are underneath the palace. So thank you. I'm trying to get really good with it. I have a bunch of perspective, like notes that I reference to that are sitting on my desk. So it's just like a Xerox pamphlet that people made that I keep. Oh yeah. And also Blossoms. If you check it out, I animated my own show. It's about little flowers that go on adventures and where they bloom next. There's a link in my profile. Um, and it's an animated show. I did 13 episodes and it's really cute, and this is separate from that, but also really fun. So, yeah, the only way is through it. And I avoided perspective for a really, really long time. Um, and now that I'm doing it, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I started being an animator. Um, yeah. <laughs> I animated a show. Wait, I don't even know. I don't know if I can share links. And, oh, I can. I can. Here, I'll try. Well, here, hang on. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Um, let me find it. 
yeah, so I animated my own show, totally free to watch. It's on YouTube. I finished it last year, and I go to Comic Cons and I promote it. Um, but I've been doing this like on the side too. Um, and oh, let me go to my website. I do know my own website. It has a theme song. Do 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 do. Which you can definitely okay. Copy and the paste. Oh, great! That's a live link, so you, you can click on that. You can check out my my webisodes. Um, <laughs> really? Wow! I want I want emotes. I want in on the emote game. That'd be sweet. Um, but yeah, so I animated the show, and then this is my departure. Not departure, but this is like, I'm also working on this along with the animation. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's nice. You guys are nice. I'm trying. I'm mostly just learning, and I thought, well, if other people are learning too, then they might learn while watching me learn to some degree. Um, sometimes I draw, like, um, just action poses and, and learning um foreshortening type of things that's another thing that I need for comics that I'm not really good at so some of the other streams have been foreshortening and just doing poses and then a lot of times um I don't know if the Nightcrawler guy is still here but I think one of them turned into like Daredevil because I'll take the pose and be like oh who does this remind me of and then I'll just kind of randomly turn them into a character the last one I did was Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon who else landed maybe I did a Spider-Man just based on like man without beard oh man charlie cox is so good <laughs> i saw him in a panel at the comic con ones i was like yes the whole panel including the uh, elodia young who plays electra and and i think rosario dawson was there too so it was a really good panel that i haven't seen them do together since so daredevil is one oh i can't either daredevil is like my favorite my favorite show right after arrow i'm arrow the pilot of arrow i've seen like four times and i saw daredevil i was like even better <laughs> I thought it was really good, so yeah. It's emo oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I haven't even, wow, you just reminded me. So at some point, I just dropped off of all of the Marvel stuff. I haven't seen, and it might have been at Moon Knight. I haven't seen Moon Knight. I didn't see Punisher season two. I didn't see She-Hulk yet. I haven't seen like, yeah, I haven't seen, I missed, I don't, I don't know what happened. I like just kind of, I, I haven't seen anything like after The Mandalorian. Like I just kind of, I don't know if there was just like too many coming out and because I was animating the show and like doing a bunch of stuff, it was just like too many, I don't know, things to keep up with. So uh, I didn't do it, but, oh, okay. Was it good or just really intense? Like not as, Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. But just be ready for it to be intense. Okay. I, speaking of X-Men and speaking of series, I wish they could get an X-Men. I, I don't want any more movies. I want them to do a series. Like, a series with X-Men. I'm waiting. I've been waiting. Once they started doing them, I'm like, please do X-Men. Please. Please. It's got a soap opera feel anyway. It might as well be like episodes that's how I feel about it so what the huh what's the you animated a creature in a book of boba whoa really where's that link that's cool what creature I read power of X house of X um just that part so I read the setup for it so I read that whole I don't remember if it was 12 or 16 issues or whatever <laughs> uh, oh right that one <laughs> of course <laughs> um yeah that's fair that's fair it's a lot to keep track of um yeah I loved power powers of x house of x I thought it was cool that would be a great show but it kind of wouldn't make sense either I kind of want to see one on just the Hellfire Club. You could do one on just the Hellfire Club and not even really have the X-Men in it until later and then maybe segue it into X-Men, I think. You could also do one of just like, 
I don't know, there's a lot of X-Men to do, and I can't believe they haven't landed a series on it yet, but I think maybe it's a lot of work with a lot of writers, so, and a lot of getting the cast right, because it's a very extensive cast, and every character's a star. There's no one I would, there's no one negotiable that I would want them to get wrong. I want them to get, I just, well, actually, I just watched X, X-Men, and I was going to watch X2, I think, recently, because I was going to say X2, I thought, did a good job with Nightcrawler. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. What X-Men is it? It came in ever, did you see? Well, I can't, I don't want to spoil it. But they do have like some X-Men. I wish they'd, I wish they'd stop trying to cram in Dark Phoenix. I really do. Because they, they never spend enough time on it and they have yet to get it right. Dark Phoenix is one of my favorite stories of all time. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it doesn't end well. Um, I mean, I kind of like that they alluded to it, but then they didn't let it breathe, and so then the third movie was kind of a mess, in my opinion. But that's just because I'm very... Um, I'm very, I'm very specific about how I like X-Men to be. Oh, you don't want it to be funny? I think the X-Men are funny. But I, I, I don't want to, um, is dark the word? I want them to take it seriously. <laughs> that sounds like all you need to remember. I, I think that's its own drawing challenge. Just out of context, draw, draw the statement. All I remember is sand, weird aggro dog, and weird centaur muscle freak. And I feel like that's its own drawing challenge. And that should, that should move forward into the universe. There it is. And that should be its own emote. Should I ever get emotes? Yes, 100%. 100% Nightcrawler has the best movie I'll be seen. Yeah, 100%. I totally agree. It still lands. Um, short of, now let me think about the other. Now I have to think about it. I gotta think about some other... I have to hydrate to think about that one. I didn't see the second one. I think I skipped it. I've seen the first one, I don't know, three or four times, but I don't think I've seen the second one. I should. Especially if there's some Groot action. I think Groot's great. Particularly because Groot's like a tree and the Blossoms live in a tree and so it kind of like ties in. I should definitely do a group like Blossoms crossover for sure. <laughs> I gotta get on that. I just did, I drew it in my stream, I don't know, two or three weeks ago now where I did, um, I did uh, a crossover with Avatar The Last Airbender and the Blossoms. Um, and that's what I was drawing last time and that turned out really cute. Um, there was a giant... I don't know. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender keeps coming up in my stream. On the first episode, somebody was like, oh, right now I'm drawing Appa. And I was like, oh my god, I, I have a giant Appa in my room right now. And it came out during my stream because my Appa is literally like three feet long. <laughs> it's not normal. It's not normal size as the giant flying bison in the show. Um, oh man. Are you kidding? Boo. Oh. I want my stuff. Right. <laughs> Not the part where they didn't give you the things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want the stuff and the things. We can just, just ask, just, just ask, um, Mr. Favreau over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming, everybody. That was really fun. I've never, I've never experienced anything like that before. That was super cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just kind of just drawing my own little. You could do a screen capture if you stream it. You can do, I think through QuickTime, you can just do a screen recording and it'll pick up sound. In theory. <laughs> Unless somehow it may be like, oh really? Oh, it like blocks you? How insidious. No, they wouldn't like that. And I'm not suggesting that they would. Sorry, Disney. I'm just, I'm suggesting that you could screen capture, in theory, the things from 
a computer. I'm not saying you should, I'm saying you could. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh, I'm just like so. <laughs> they are. They, uh. Oh. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Minecraft is another game I'm sad to say I've never played. Oh my gosh. Don't at me. But I feel like if I played it, I would love it because I like making stuff and building things. Am I totally missing out? Do I need Minecraft like yesterday? Right now I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West. That's nice and I like, I like games that I can sit with like a good book and have like a good story. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for Final Fantasy 16. I can't wait. I, I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet, but I think I will for that. Um, but like I said, you don't want to watch me stream games, so you won't see me play it, but you can hear me talk about playing it because I cannot wait for Final Fantasy 16. I'm so excited. And I also want to play Crisis Core here soon. And I also want to play Ghost of Tsushima. And I also want to play Nino you know, Kuni 2 is sitting there. And also Hyrule Warriors. Those are all the games that are on my list. For anybody that's like gaming, gaming people out there, if you have recommendations. That's what's on my list right now, but if I missed anything important, like a Minecraft or something. You let me know. I, uh, yeah. Oh, so you're just like not playing, but you like retired. You're like, I'm not playing video games right now. <laughs> I'm good. I like them. I like them, but I like when I can sit with them. I don't want to. I don't, it's weird. I don't like playing with other people. Like not, I like playing in person, like on the Wii. Um, like if you're playing in person, like Wii Bowling or whatever, that used to be really fun. Um, but as far as playing like a World of Warcraft with other, oh yeah, oh my god, the art, Forbidden West, oh my god, the... I'm just like, I stare at it sometimes. It looks unbelievable. Um, the textures and stuff, and the hair, it's just really, really pretty. And like the way the sky changes, and I, the, the first time I feel it, like, I thought Zelda Breath of the Wild was really beautiful to watch, and also Red Dead Redemption, the first one, was really beautiful to watch. Oh, bye, thank you for coming. Thank you for following, that was super cool. Oh, that was so Twitch. Oh my gosh, that was, I can't, I'm gonna like play that back after I do the upload onto YouTube. That was awesome, thank you. <laughs> I hope you get your things back. Like I said, just, you know, cool, that was, that was super cool. <laughs> I'll do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna come and once I figure out how to do it, come and follow you, follow you back, because that was super great. Once I figure out, I don't want to do anything right now because I don't want to somehow like interrupt my stream. But once I'm once I'm done, once I'm done recording, <laughs> but that was super cool. Yeah, that was really fun, really really fun. But yeah, back to video games. I don't. I'm not playing with other people anymore. What do they do? Does so, do, do they draw? I didn't even ask. Where'd you all raid? What do you what do you guys do? What do you guys do over there? Where you raided from? Because I assume. All right, help me out. I assume during a raid, you are already streaming somewhere else. So like everybody here, that's like here, we could all go raid something. Crafts. Oh, okay. Games sometimes. Okay. I'm gonna check it out after this. I'm just excited I got my, I got my, um, I got my, um, achievement. My little Twitch achievement. Like a little, a little video game. Maybe I do like playing. <laughs> I like playing, I like playing Twitch with other people. That's fun. That's super cool. We'll look at this later. That's fun. Ah, I want to do more now. But in theory, like, when you raid, like, somebody like me would have to go to, like, another channel and, like, go over there and be like, we're raiding. But then does that suspend my stream? I'm going to look it up. I'm going to get educated, you guys. <laughs> and at the very least, somebody else has um, appreciated my work on perspective. Because it, if you watch other ones, this has not been easy. And it's uh, um, a lot of, like calculations and fixing it and 
and so um, trying to get the angle right so I really appreciate somebody bringing up the perspective thank you <laughs> super awesome oh miniature houses from kit like not Gundam but like houses cool and then wait what do they do with them why do they make the miniature houses just because they're cool and cute and works on emotes on stream oh I want to watch them work on emotes I'm coming for you I'm coming for you <laughs> I'm coming for you after this. My, um, I'm just a little busier right now because I'm working on a new animation for Blossoms. I did it, I remixed the, there's a theme song, there's an opening theme song. Oh, that's fun. And they sit and paint them and show them. I would like to do a live, um, an actual hand drawing, not digital drawing, but a hand drawing stream eventually once I figure out a rig um, situation because I'll do like sketch cards and stuff too. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go see what you do well and come and come get inspired. I think that's ex so exciting. Um, for sure. That sounds really cool. But, and it sounds really relaxing to watch. I love pe people making like little like, houses and stuff. Little, I want to see the other stuff too. Oh, roll. Okay, wait. All right, now I need to take notes and write stuff down. Row life. Okay. Row life. Now, now, see, I have to take the notes because if I don't take notes, I'm not going to, I'm not going to remember. Oh, oh, really? Okay, wait. Let me try to do it. I'm going to click on the name. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I did it. Oh, it did say I paused it for a second. There's nothing wrong with shopping. My shop? You were in my shop? <laughs> There's especially nothing, but any shop. Don't don't let me interrupt your shop flow. Listen, a good shopping trip. A bad shopping trip is a bummer. But a good shopping trip that's like really really like fulfilling. I had a bad I well I didn't have a bad shopping trip, but I hate going to the store, whatever store it is. And you're going there for something specific? No. Oh, I need to do all of that stuff. No, I have to. And I want to order some more stickers too. I ordered a lot, but I want to order some more. There were a bunch that I had in hold that I was missing. I got all kinds of my. Um, I've sold a bunch though. They're here. I'll show you. These are them. They're sitting right here because um, somebody bought them, and I'm waiting to send them up. There's this one, which is like if you have plots or somebody, the DM gives you a location, quest, and you just stick it on there. Hello, my name is NPC. These are death saves down here. Um, and then this one, it's just like cute, cute little D&D &D things. This is my character. Turn on the dice and like, yeah, they turned out fun. I put them, I haven't used them yet because I haven't gotten a new quest because we're in the middle of a battle right now. <laughs> By the way, everybody, I play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so I I haven't gotten to actually use them yet, but I know some, some of my party members have. But I haven't been given a new quest. We've just been in a battle for the last three sessions. So, you know, hopefully my character survives. Again, it's ugly. It's a, it's a tough battle. <laughs> um, oh, groceries. I don't know. I used to love grocery shopping and now I kind of hate it. But my point was going to be I don't like going to the store. And they're out of it. They're out of the thing you went there for. I went to a Japanese um, grocery store recently and it's kind of far away. It's probably, you know, a 45, 50 minute drive just there and maybe like an hour and a half round trip. But anyway, so I went there and they were out of yuzu. Yuzu is like a, it's almost like orange. It's like a citrus type thing, but they were out of yuzu spread. And you can only get it at a Japanese store. They were out of spread. They were out of matcha tea. They were out of all the stuff that I went out of my way to go there for. And I was like, oh, bummer. But when they have the stuff and it's on sale, mm, super exciting. So I hope, one, that they had what you needed. And two, that it was on sale. Um, and now, and, and I hope you're eating well. I hope it's good. If there's never such thing as just some groceries. I, yeah. 
it's super annoying. Um, there's no just some groceries though. There's nothing more comforting for me than having the food that I want accessible to me. I love, love having my favorite food around. So hopefully it was a good trip for you. Not just some groceries, it's bread, milk, things you need. <laughs> it's exciting. I think grocery shopping should be more hype. Just got back from the grocery store. You know what that means. And then you get all the snacks. I don't know if anybody else does this. Those are dangerous. The ones that are five minutes away. The one by me is a five minute walk and it's dangerous because everything there, I know everything there is like, it's one of those cute, ooh. Right now, my snack of choice. Okay, well, first of all, I'm a weirdo and anybody that actually knows me knows that I really like cucumbers. <laughs> I eat a, like, a lot of cucumbers um, and I eat them like I don't cut them up. I eat them like a cucumber. And then I also eat like, I kind of eat like a rabbit, like I eat like celery and carrots and all that kind of stuff. And then um, recently I've been getting down into uh, like pita chips. I rediscovered pita chips recently. Oh, I mean, like M&Ms and pistachios. I like to mix them up. Those are my snacks. They're not super, I don't like like really heavy desserts. I'm more of like a salty per Nachos, oh my God. And breakfast nachos or slash like chilaquiles. Um, like chilaquiles or when they take the nachos and they soak them in a salsa uh, and then they like top it with a bunch of all the other stuff. They're so good. They're so good. So I love a good like breakfast burrito at lunch. That's my... Oh, wait. The um, the Cadbury kind? Or like the ones that are like whole chocolate. <laughs> the whole chocolate kind. Y'all are going to make me need to go to the store now. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Oh my god, chilaquiles! I didn't discover chilaquiles as a dish and you don't have Cadbury. Where is there? Where is there that you don't have Cadbury? Like, is it a regional thing? By the way, I'm kind of glad you don't. No offense to Cadbury, but the eggs used to be better. And BJ Novak did- Oh! Hello from the Netherlands! Wow! I want to visit so bad! I want to go over there. I want to go to that whole area. I really want to see the nor Northern Lights and I really want to see- um, yeah, that whole area. I've actually, I don't think I've ever been to anywhere in Europe. So I want to go. But I want to go to all of it. And I, that's not really possible. At once. All of it. <laughs> I want to go to all of it at once and that's not really possible. I have to pick. Um, yeah, the Cadbury, BJ Novick did a whole thing on Cadbury eggs where the size changed. They used to be like really big and have like a lot of filling and now they're really small and the chocolate's not as good. So you should look it up. The BJ Novick thing on, on YouTube where he talks about. Cadbury, the size of Cadbury eggs and what's happened since. Oh, hello! A Father's Gaming Challenge, welcome! So I, um, okay, more, see I knew I was geographically mistaken, it is more up north though. Okay, yep, yep. I don't see them either, but I'd like to. But I'd like to get over, just like over there. Now I have to look at a map because I feel dumb. <laughs> Look at the Netherlands now. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. <laughs> uh, because I want to know what I'm talking about. I assumed... No, I'm going to look it up before I... Show me. Show me where this is. Because I think I know where it is. Alright. I think I know stuff before until I don't know it. Okay. Okay, it was, I just didn't realize how far south it was. I thought it was up by Sweden and Norway, but it's like close to it, slash not close to it, right? Am I right? Lurking and working, yeah, I'm good with the lurkers. It's all good with me. All right, so we got the, I'm gonna do, yeah, all right. So <laughs> I really wanted to go to Sweden because I wanted to see polar bears. But the polar bears aren't really in Sweden. They're like way, 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 way north. Um, I'm upset. Polar bears are my favorite animal, everybody. Now you know. Um, I have them. I even have little like clips and stuff of them. I have this little, this is a little polar bear like, um, what do you call it? Like a binder clip? I don't know what else to call it, but anyway. 
I love them. I, I lost a lot of money in an arcade this weekend trying to win like a polar bear, like a stuffed polar bear that was holding an ice cream cone, and I did not get it. And so, anyway. Oh, okay, but I will say geographically challenged. I didn't realize it was next to. Yes. Oh, yeah, I want polar bear training. I want polar bear training more than I want, like, anything else other than maybe having the Blossoms dolls. Having Blossoms dolls, first of all, and then I want the I want to go, my goal here, I want to be able to walk to Target or whatever store, big box store, and go and purchase my own Blossoms, like, character dolls, and then I want to take my doll over to the register, and I want to explain to the cashier, like, look, this is the thing that I made, like, I'm the creator of Blossoms, and have them, like, absolutely not care at all. Number two on my list, though, is polar bear training now, and I am going to write down Spitzker, I'm getting all the information right now, you guys. I need a lot more followers before I can afford that trip. <laughs> But I want to go, I want to go, I want to go bad. Okay, back to my tour of where I thought the Netherlands was. I, in my head, before I've seen this map, now that I've seen the map, it makes sense, obviously. I thought the Netherlands was where Denmark is, physically. Um, but now that I see, obviously. But I do want to go to Amsterdam. But you can't, you can't, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Could you go from Netherlands to Sweden? Could I make that one trip? I also want to go to Switzerland really, really bad. I keep seeing pictures of it in things. It showed up in, um, oh, it showed up in this Korean drama crash landing on you. Is anybody on the, okay, I was close. I was in the, I was in the right area. It's probably like getting the, the United States like mixed up where they are. It's all kind of the same region. No disrespect meant I just genuinely like don't know where the countries are that well, L located wise. Um, so I apologize for my ignorance. However, I just watched this Korean drama called Crash Landing on You. And oh, by the way, it was super, super good. Um, I mean, it was a romance. You have to be into like the romance genre to be into it, but it was really good. And a lot of it was filmed in Switzerland and they kept showing it and it was just, I mean, it looks like a storybook. It, it doesn't look real. It looks, I mean, I live in flatlands. It's just corn and grass and we have like, you know, some skyscrapers and stuff, but this place looked unreal. It looks like a story. So I have Switzerland at the top on my list too, but also the polar bear training, definitely. So that is that entire region. Welcome. Thank you for explaining and telling me where to go for the polar bears because I want to see them bad. And then hopefully the Northern Lights are there too, and I won't completely freeze. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the part of that whole section, that whole like, with the longitude, latitude is horizontal longitude, right? I, that whole longitude, Belgium, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, like Germany, Switzerland, Rome, I guess Paris, that whole area. And then I also wouldn't mind seeing the rest of it. I wanna see everything. I should probably narrow it down though. <laughs> oh, Iceland. Yup. Get over there. Yeah, definitely thank you for the lurking. Tour by train, I wanna do that. Those are all the things I wanna do. Good, I'm glad I have sort of the right ideas going. I can kinda of get the polar bears. All right, down tour by train. Polar bears. Tour by train, yes. Yeah, I love trains. I don't like trains here that much, but I like them. I like them, I have been to Japan and I like them in Japan. I thought the train system was really, I don't know, effective for getting around. So hopefully, I assume it must be similar in Europe too, because there's a lot of trains. Does everybody, do most people take the train everywhere? Is it very much public transport type stuff? Because we all have cars. Like, we wouldn't be able to get really anywhere without them. Just curious. I think it's, it's probably weird that we all have cars. I mean, I like driving, but I, you know, given the choice if I could take a train. Uh oh, I lost my pen. Oh no. Here it is. Uh, now I'm like re, I forgot. I keep, I keep forgetting that I wanted to go <laughs> to Europe and now it's at the top of my list again. And like, I get busy and then. Okay. 
Do you like traveling by train? Or do you just do it because? Do you actually like it? I think it's relaxing. And I actually really like the sound of the, the beat of the tracks. The ch -ch 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 I like hearing it even if I'm not in the train. I think train tracks, uh, it's a very like, train tracks and thunderstorms to me are like very calming sound. Um, I don't know, I just like them. Anybody else? <laughs> what are some of your favorite sounds? Let me know your favorite sounds. What would you put in, what, what gets you in a nice calm, comforting state? I mean, I got the shit part. Yeah. Get back. Get a little bit. I was, I'm just, I was so taken aback by the rain. It's so exciting. A very exciting stream today. My goodness. I'm glad I got my voice back. I lost my voice a couple weeks ago and tried to stream. Oh. Do that. Ooh, fire, oh, fire crackling's another one. That's a really good one. Oh, boots on asphalt. Like the actual walking, the footprints? Oh, waves crashing, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, of course, waves crashing, right? Joe Para talks with you. What is the, what is the, oh, okay. There's a, there is a rhythm to it. Oh! Well, yeah, why wouldn't you drive then? Yeah. I mean, you've got it. Go ahead. If you can get to the places. See, here's the thing. Or, like, around us, sometimes parking can be really expensive. So it's this whole, like, oh, do we take the train? Or, I, okay. You know how they say that you never forget how to ride a bike. I honestly feel like I have forgotten how to ride a bike. I tried to get on a bike. We thought it would be a really fun outing and we went. And I think I almost fell into a river. Like, <laughs> I, could, I couldn't, I was like, I don't know if it was a balance thing or a speed thing or if I just didn't like spend enough, like I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want a bike. I like running and I like swimming, but I wouldn't be able to do a triathlon because I wouldn't want to do the bike. Which is the part most people like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be able to do a triathlon for a number of reasons, but largely the bike part. But I imagine over in Europe, biking is amazing. And if I was in Europe, I would probably relearn how to ride a bike pretty quickly. So, yeah. So, the Joe Para podcast, what is the topic? Does he talk with you specifically? <laughs> is that what you find it calming? Okay, he's a comedian. Oh, is it supposed to like put you to sleep a little bit? Oh, I love that concept. And, uh, so is the composer a musician? I assume. I'm gonna write that down. wants you to fall asleep okay so do you wake up with your headphones in or do you get to a point where you're about to fall asleep and then you turn it off or do you wake up and he's still talking how long does he go oh all right <laughs> then okay then biking wouldn't be so bad you are less likely, probably, if you don't have any hills and stuff. You won't fall into a river. Like, I almost did. <laughs> oh, it's like a show. It's a video podcast. Got it. And then you can drift off. But then at what point do you wake up with the TV still on? How many, how many hours into your sleep do you wake up? Usually if I fall asleep with the TV on, I'll wake up at 2 a.m. Like, oh, whoops. <laughs> and then I go to actual bed and not just couch. Me too. Me too. That's another. I just like having the TV on. It's comforting. 
I like the TV. I like TV. I like rain. Thunderstorms specifically, and I like train tracks. But I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out Joe Perro. Sometimes I just uh, also kind of on the same. Like I'll watch the like the D and D pod. Not pocket. They're not podcasts, but like the Dimension Twenty shows and stuff. And just because, um, well, I'll listen to them, and then sometimes I can kind of tune out and fall asleep. But there's something about somebody just. Almost, it's almost like they're telling you a bedtime story a little bit. That's again, it's very comforting. It just feels like a snuggle. <laughs> it's nice. Those are all the good sounds. I don't think I don't. Yeah. But I also like like I'm losing it. That wasn't. The, that was a really bad. <laughs> That was a really bad beatbox to that song. But I like, like, if I want to hear music, like, I don't listen to, like, relaxing lo-fi music. I listen to, like, dance, pop type stuff. <laughs> so, although I like this, I like the stream music quite a bit. I think it's, like, calm. I don't see why not. Do I, sure please open forum I hope it's something is it the link of the is it the Joe guy okay <laughs> oh like if you woke up and then he's like oh I'm sorry you woke up here and then <laughs> yes please please do that Back. Awesome. I like how I'm, I feel like I'm about to go, who's Joe Para to, oh my god, Joe Para is the best. I feel like that's what's about to happen. This music has some sort of raindrop beat that I'm really feeling. Does it not let you drop the links? Or are these supposed to be the links and they're just not showing up? I have a Discord. Here. Hang on. If you wanna go if you wanna share stuff and, and Twitch isn't letting you do stuff, hang on downloading an update because I haven't had oh he's from the Midwest I'm from the Midwest yes let's go have I not heard of him yet I love stand-up comedy or just comedy in general oh of course the update's gonna take like forever here all right fine take forever where am I in the Midwest I'll find out I'm gonna do my research on him we're gonna find Let's find out together. Ooh, that's a good That line was crooked. Alright. Once Discord is once Discord is up. Is it up yet? Nope, still downloading it. What kind of update is Discord having right now? My gosh. It says it's one update. Of course. Well, I might have a Discord. <laughs> I think it's still there from the last time I looked. Nope, still downloading an update. Well, because I think Discord sometimes doesn't let you like share links. Maybe, maybe it catches it. I don't know. As you guys will quickly find out, I am. Uh, 
not that educated on how Twitch works. But I'm gonna get there. Just like I figured out where the Netherlands was. I can <laughs> I can be taught. I can be taught. Just like I can be taught perspective. Like I generally can't emphasize the fact that I really didn't think I could do this. Um like like the perspective thing at all, probably three months ago. It kept me from doing comics because I didn't think I could do it. But I mean, really, once I started focusing and kind of figuring it out, it's a lot more successful. I know it's not perfect. Um. <laughs> you know what, my... <laughs> oh, it's true. Sort of. I, yeah. I, I don't know, because I'm an artist, so did I suffer from it, or am I an artist because of it? Because <laughs> I really no joke used to draw my way through classes so I'm not I'm not um advocating for that I'm just saying I had classes that I could draw myself through like draw projects like so and so if they were like read a book and do a book report instead of a book report I would make a comic about it but because I made a comic people were like oh this is amazing you know what you're doing I'm like mm -hmm, I do and I would get an A but which is weird because I like reading I don't have time. Alright, okay, alright, so I've got Discord. Let me see if I can. Alright, how. No? Come back. Oh no. Do I know how to use Discord? <laughs> so I have one and I did set it up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Yep. Copy. Alright, there's the Alchemist Bride Discord, which is really just... Go ahead and put your... Well, I haven't updated it at all. <laughs> but it does have what I was talking about with my Appa. The very first thing in one of the things, it just says under it, Twitch live streams, and this is by the book. And then it, um, hey, I see you. Um, it says first live stream, first follower, and you can see in the thumbnail that I'm with Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender because it got brought up and that was really fun and I was like, you know what? That was a that was a really good omen for me because anytime I see Appa, I feel like it's going to be a positive experience. So um, the fact that it got brought up kind of organically was really exciting. All right, so where's... Hey, I'm a wave. So uh, I actually liked that little animation that happened there. I have no control over that, but I would like to. I would like to have emotes and I'd like to have my own my own little character stuff. Still get an A. Yeah. I I think I don't even know. I mean this isn't like an education whatever podcast, but I don't I don't think great grades are so grades are so arbitrary. Like I now that I like when I had to learn animation and when I had to learn a bunch of stuff on my own, um, it was really just whether I learned it or not, you know? So the grade at that point just sort of irrelevant like it's really just something to show off that said I don't know look I did it whatever but there were so many ways to get an A that I don't know it doesn't prove anything it didn't prove anything um, I don't know but I love that I'm here for you getting A's <laughs> I, I'm giving you an A on getting A's A plus it's a, it's a full 100% there keep it 100 scribble on the back yeah yeah I yeah I don't know that I turned anything in without a duel everything I had was a duel and I would draw like whatever kind like I drew several comics when definitely when I was in high school like just not like professional ones but like in my sketchbook and stuff and I, I would just write them and draw them through my classes so again this is not a what should what should people do but it's what they could have done or what they could do during some of our classes. So I'm sorry I don't know where the Netherlands were. I was drawing in class. <laughs> and I'm still drawing, so I guess it worked out. Um, drop. So yeah, so if anybody has anything... They want, oh, good! You did! There's Joe's podcast. Buffalo, New York. That's not the... Do you consider Buffalo the Midwest? I want to know. Is this like how I considered where I thought Netherlands was Denmark? <laughs> I'm so, I feel bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Aww. I, it's mid 
Midwest-ish, but it's not Midwest. It's, it's, uh, it's East, but it's like West-East. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he moved. Okay. All right. So he's still a Midwestern. Yeah, because you can't move away from Midwest. Like your Midwestness. Midwest city. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I'm going to check him out. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad that worked out. Yeah. If Twitch doesn't let you share stuff, you can go over to the, the Discord and share whatever you want. Go ahead. And then I guess now that. Now that it's here, I'll update the other ones with my other streams, but yeah. I'm gonna check them out now, for sure. <laughs> I don't know, is it easier to chat in like the... I can do both. Is it easier to chat in Discord? Yeah. I'm so excited I got my little... I got my... Um... I got my achievements in Twitch. They've kind of been mocking me for the last several weeks. It's like, get people... And I'm like, I'm trying. I'm on the. You guys help me. Oh, this is such an exciting day. I can't emphasize that enough. Ah, that's so exciting. <laughs> Hearing all the dings. Is... It, was, it was like I hit jackpot on a thingy machine. It's like ding, 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 ding. That was the coolest. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch it right after this. Right after this. I'm definitely going to check that out. And then I'm going to look up the Spitzbergen for the polar bears. So I can just, like, life goals. I need to plan ahead. I plan things ahead early for things I want later. Like, I plan on having a comic out here at some point. I don't know when yet. But, like, once I started, so the animated show that I did, once I started production, I'm like, I'm like it's going to be done by this date. And then it was. So, so I'm going to put polar bears in my pocket, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap back around to it. That's my plan. That is my plan. But do you really think... Okay. So you know that Buffalo is not the Midwest. <laughs> just, just, I want to make sure for everybody. Because I'm in the middle of the Midwest. Yeah, that was really fun. I appreciate that they did that. That was super, that was super, super fun. Okay, good. It's okay if you didn't. <laughs> but I just want to establish that you do now. But I'm suggesting that now you never did think that. I know. I know. I know you know. <laughs> Any fan of X-Men would know that. Obviously. No, I, I don't think now I will never forget where the Netherlands is, so that worked out, you know. Now I can learn it on trivia or something. Maybe I'll maybe I'll win like a trivia night now. Thanks, DJ. No. It's just north of Germany. Well, most people know that. Oh, he's got a real is he like a Minnesota Midwesterner? Okay, good. As I said, I'm from the Midwest. I'm not sure that I have a Midwest. Like a, unless I say certain words, I'm not. I'm not totally sure that I have a Midwestern um, accent. Tell me if I do. Maybe I do, and I just don't hear it. Or maybe I just need to say certain words like apple, <laughs> Chicago, the Bears. Know how much of this I, I was so excited now I know my stream's gonna go over because I really want to finish not finish this drawing today but get more of it done so and that's okay Tuesdays I can do it Thursdays I can't I'm just so encouraged by somebody saying that the perspective was really good it was super nice because that's literally what I've been working on so I, I totally, totally appreciate that. That's super sweet. Uh, I was, I did a show in Texas. I did, um, I don't know where you are, but I did Anime Frontier in Fort Worth. Um, I have a friend who lives in Dallas. So. And I like, and I've been to Dallas 
they've changed the name since, but I went to a Dallas Comic Con for fun. And it was, oh, you are? Okay. If you're, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna try to do, because like I said, I have a friend who lives in, down, in Dallas, like near downtown. I think near the convention center where they have it, so I think I'm gonna try to do a show down there here at some point. I don't know if you do the Comic Cons, but if you do, if you do do the Comic Cons, let me know if it is a show I should do. If I should come down. I like Dallas. I like Dallas quite a bit. Are you banned? Is it just too much? Too much work? Too much money? Too much? I get it. I skipped one this weekend right here. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. And I have a pencil and I am prepared to take notes when you are ready to, when you are ready to share them. Cons are rough. Cons are a lot of work. Like I said, I lost my whole voice doing the last one, so. No. No worries. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The type where you just can't go to shows anymore. At least they stream them now. You're not missing out. I'll be honest with you. They, they were really good. And I feel like now they're just like a little money grubby, but, 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 oh, so it's hard to like walk around and stuff. Oh, yeah, especially on like the cement floors. It's, I don't even like it. It's, it's, they're difficult. Oh. They haven't changed though. And now because of the internet and stuff, like you're not really missing. They put all the panels on. I mean, it's kind of a double-edged door. You don't need to be there live anymore. So there's no real reason to like, go. But. Big fanboy. Okay. And he manages the shows. Hmm. Yeah, I usually do Artist Alley. Um, I'll have to check it out. Do I just search for Big Fanboy? I'm going to do it. I'm going to look it up. I have so many notes. I have so many things to follow up on. Oh, yeah, it is nice to catch up with people, for sure. You bet, I've never been to San Diego Comic Con, though. That's, like, the big guy. Wow, that's a flex. And I absolutely, yeah. Now I understand why you think X2, and I agree with you, <laughs> why you think X2 is the best opening because at the time and I think that's what people forget at the time like there were like comic book movies weren't really like a thing they were kind of a not a joke but not what they are now and so when X-Men came out and was kind of good and then X2 came out with that opening it was unbelievable yeah I don't want to sit there I'm not going to travel all the way there and wait in lines I will say I like Gen Con because Gen Con is not, it's not about waiting in line for panels, it's about like going and playing games and stuff so you can meet a lot of people and learn like new games, like board games or like I said I play Dungeons and Dragons so you can play Dungeons and Dragons or you can just kind of meet up with people and you sit around and play games for you know two to four hours at a time for four days and so that's for me the vibe that I want for Comic Cons now and not just the like Mad Dash for panels and like shop the shop floor stuff but I've never been to San Diego Comic Con so I haven't been I, I am the farthest west I've been I think is actually Texas because I've been in New York I've done anime NYC um, and I want to do some okay but Fan Expo took over Wizard World and Wizard World was really the one that did that and I remember the early Wizard Cons when they were kind of good and then I also remember when they took a deep dive um, to the point where when I was a vendor at a show and this was just my experience um, like I had 
I had some individuals who were looking for Artist Alley to try to find me and because of their lack of signage and their lack of, I don't know, preparation, the way they split up, like the artists were in a totally different area, like it didn't even seem like it was part of the show for the particular year that I went to. Um, so it was just kind of a mess that year. Um, and then I kind of just didn't go back and then Fan Expo has since got them. So I was going to look at doing Fan Expo near me on the next one, but I agree. I, it was Wizard World that gobbled them all up though. And then really it was, that's what, now everything's, now everything's got a con. So it kind of diluted it a little bit. So it was just like, you know, it's just San Diego Comic Con for a while and then a bunch of smaller shows and then all the smaller shows became like huge, huge giant events. Um, yeah, I'm doing one called Anime Central in the Chicago area here in about a month or so. And uh, that show used to be in a hallway at a Hyatt, and it had maybe, I don't know, 1,500 people. And now, obviously, that's like 70,000 people, and it's taking over the whole convention center area. So um, I hear you. I hear you. But I think that 1997 culture <laughs> is the culture. Yes, we did. They took over, and I really liked the smaller shows. And some of them, they still exist, but they're much smaller to a much smaller degree. Um, <laughs> no, you're experienced. You understand the magic that was something like X2. Like, because again, I mean, it's even hard to put into context the importance of that movie when it came out because of, like, now it just seems like, oh, sure, it's an X Men movie, but at the time it was like an achievement almost to the degree of, like, I can't believe we actually got Avengers as such a complete thought. Howard the Duck. When was that in theater? I don't know. I didn't see it, but I'm not a Howard the Duck person, so I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know anyway. But I appreciate your, I, I appreciate your experience level. Because everyone, everyone thinks that, I mean, streaming? I just want to talk about streaming for, <laughs> just streaming at all. I mean, the whole reason I animated, it took me so long to animate a show is because YouTube wasn't a platform, like, YouTube wasn't available. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> that or there's another one. Um, well, Batman, obviously. I don't know if Howard the Duck predates Batman or not, but. You know, even Batman was an achievement. I mean, that's, that's the magic that's exciting. I still can't believe we got an Avengers movie and it was amazing. And how everybody was on board for it. It seemed so... It seems so unfathomable as a fan to get something that good. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe what I'm describing. Is there something out? This one looks weird, right? Am I crazy? Well, I'm glad we evolved beyond Howard the Duck. Unless Howard, was Howard the Duck really good? Should I write it down? Is that another one? Must see. Should. Good for you. Like I said earlier in the stream, I don't have any tattoos. I think I think it's like because I am an artist and I do draw, but I'm not confident enough in my own drawing to like like in theory it's like I want to draw my own tattoo, but I'm not confident enough in my own drawing to get anything that I drew like on me permanently, so. sense to kind of just copy and paste this. Well, this is lazy, but I wonder if this will work. Can 
can be made in any way. So you're a fan of the comic and then we're disappointed by the movie. Like I was disappointed by the Phoenix Saga. Yep. That's why I think Avengers is such a triumph. Because it wasn't disappointing on any level. On the Sharp Black Widow fan. It was really good, so. So what you're saying is I should look up Howard the Duck the comic. Oh, so he's doing like a Midwest character. <laughs> like Bobby's World or something. We're gonna do a character. I'm gonna check him out either way. Well, we, we will figure out his authenticity at a later time. I'm not worried about it right now. If it, if it works, it works. It's funny, it's funny. Yeah, do the spring cleaning. It's it's like 70 here. I mean, it's rainy. Yeah, no, it's nicer for us too. Except for the fact, I don't know if you heard at the top of my stream, we I got we really got hit by a tornado. It was an EF0 and we didn't know it was a tornado. We didn't get We got an alert, but it was like 30 minutes prior to it and it didn't go off or anything, so we didn't hear it like on our phones, you know, cuz sometimes they'll do an emergency alert so then we were supposed to seek shelter. Okay, but then, so we're, I like, we're getting like a lot of wind because it was a storm anyway, and then I hear this like, real buffeting, like, for, I don't know, 40 seconds? <laughs> Not even that long, but it was like big buffets, and I was like, what, what was that noise? And um, then I looked it up yesterday, and sure enough, when we had a storm, there was a tornado in our area, and it went right through. It was an EF0, so it didn't have the funnel or anything, but I'm... And based on the time, they did a timestamp on it and the location, it was like, that definitely hit our house. Oh gosh, the tree limbs. We had a tree limb come down on our deck and it didn't break our deck and we were shocked. And then we actually had had the tree trimmed because we were afraid like it was, it's like a murder tree. So we had it, we had it trimmed. So now it's, so we were so happy when this storm came through because sure enough, I mean, we would have, that tree would have taken out something um and and yeah yeah no i'm glad we were safe too we didn't know because i'm thinking like well how dumb are we that we didn't seek shelter but also we didn't know and it happened so fast like i was like what was that and then it, by the time i went to go investigate like what it was i was like that's a worrisome noise i mean it was just really loud wind but still during a storm you never know um when i went to check it out it was basically gone it was over so it was wild, but we did. We definitely, definitely got hit by a tornado. That was chaos. Definitely. Definitely didn't expect it. But, oh, and all the trees were totally fine, though. Like, everything was fine. So, I'm sorry that you have down limbs. Boo. Boo to that. No, no, like, serious damage, though, right? You guys are good. Well, 
I'm still pumping from that rate. That was so crazy. I've never experienced anything like that before in my life. That was wild, you guys. If I want to try rating when I'm done, just type it in. Okay. All right. Yeah, you are so helpful. Man, I know twice as many things about Twitch today than I did before you met them, so thank you. Oh, yay! Yeah! Yay! I do feel, I feel found. I feel seen. These are great. I'm second guessing myself because I'm like that. Should be like that. Mm -hmm. Does that look right? Let me know, chat. Does this look right? It shouldn't be on an angle, right? It should be like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> It's nice to have a second set of eyes. I won't take offense. This is a learning experiment for me. I don't mind. This guy needs some like, ropes and stuff. Taking, I wouldn't have thought taking a week help a week off would have been so productive, but here we are. This is great. Yeah, I really liked, um, I liked House of X. I thought it was really interesting. I also, are you a Ninja Turtles fan? Did you read The Last Ronin? That was my other favorite comic. Like that I've read so far. And I also like all the Godzilla, like Power Rangers, Batman, Ninja Turtle like crossovers that are happening. I just think they're fun. would be on a ship. What are some other supplies? <laughs> Is anybody nautical in here? What are some of the other supplies that would be on a ship? I don't know. I could look. Oh wait, I could look at my wooden bo boat building book. All right. This is more about building them though. This is literally a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own bo uh, boat. Like, 
step by step, like measurements and everything. Tom King's Love Ever. Well, oh, I'm writing down Love Everlasting now. Tom King, who wrote Batman. Okay, Avengers Forever, if I'm looking for an Avengers story. Easily the most notes I've ever taken. And the vision. Oh, I didn't know he did the vision. I like his Batman run a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. Oh yeah, okay. Is Scarlet Witch in it at all? Is it about her at all? Because when I loved um, House of M, right? It was called House of M, wasn't it? Where she lives, No More Mutants. I love that series. I love that whole story. It was so good. And that was before they put it in the movie. Okay. Writing down Vision 2. Scarlet Witch doesn't have to be in it for it to be good. I was just curious. Oh, she's in it for a bit. Okay. She makes an appearance. No spoilers. <laughs> good enough. Good enough. I'm talking to myself. It's supposed to be a big old ship right here. I didn't know there was a new one. <laughs> what could go wrong? It's never gone wrong before. What a House of M was a great story. I'll say that. So if it's if it's hitting some of those tones, then I'm sure it's really great. I need a big like chain or anchor thing. Oh, do you? Plug your podcast right now. What's the name of your podcast? Can I be on your podcast? I'm gonna be on your podcast. I could talk comics, although granted I haven't read an, enough recently to really go into depth on it. But I still know the old one's pretty good. I like talking about it because then that's when people, that's when I find out things. I don't really actually mind spoilers so much. Um, because if the whatever happened is interesting enough, that's, you know, then I check it out. It like, gets me to, it gets me to do it. Is it just you or is it you and like a couple other buddies that maybe podcast it out? Uh, wow, that's great. It's a public service, really, because there's so many comics now, too. It's such a, like, a popular medium. Not that it was gone by any means, but now it sort of, sort of seems like everybody's reading your graphic novel. Yeah, that's so awesome. Where are my clap things? I need some clap things. 
What do I have? What do I have available? Mm. Nope, that's cry face. Seems good. Oh, here's a Batman. And a Harley. There, that seems. And a fire. <laughs> Did I do it right? <laughs> If it's not letting you do it here, bring it over to my Discord. Because uh -huh. it lets me share the link, so I could always share them back. Here's the... Yeah, this is the link that was shared earlier for the... Um, for the... Uh, Joe Para podcast. I couldn't find his name. I wrote it down, but then I couldn't find it. The Joe Para podcast where he puts you to sleep. Oh, the Dallas Comic Book. Oh, so you are on the Dallas. So you are. If I want to come to the Dallas area, I need to. If I want to come to the Dallas area, I need to. I need to talk to you. <laughs> and I've been there before. I was there. Mm, I don't know, 2014 or so. Stephen Amell, 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. Whenever Arrow came out, I went down there to go see him. So, I back to Appa and the last <laughs> Airbender. I took Appa to like all of the Dallas museums in that like downtown area, like the little Dallas Art Museum and the uh, oh, Robocop, by the way, surprisingly violent movie. I don't know what I expected when I saw it, but I was like, wow, it's really, like, it's a, it's an R. It's a full-on R. Like, it wasn't just an action movie, but it was, like, surprisingly violent. I want to know all the things. I do want to go back to Dallas here at some point. I'm not sure about this year, but, but I do, uh, you know, like there. I like it down there. And my friend lives right right by the airport in the area. I feel like I have kind of an open visitation visitation to go visit. I helped her bird build some of her furniture when she moved in, so hopefully <laughs> I can couch surf with her for a bit and do a show and hang out. I've never seen Battle Rocket. I'm starting to realize I haven't seen a lot of movies. They must have it must have been they must have been teaching it during when they were telling about where the Netherlands were in school. <laughs> Missed it. Sad. Oh, it's, it was, oh, it's like his first, it's his first movie, right? I have seen Wes Anderson's work. Okay, that's my thought. Is he from Texas? Is that why he was filmed there? Or he just happened to be... He happened to do it there. It's Angel 's sense now now it all adds up okay yeah it all makes sense now of course of course I feel like the more you know <laughs> the educational star oh I get it now light bulb went off All right, well, I will be sure to announce when I plan on coming to Texas again and get so I can get the inside scoop. For sure. All signs, all signs go, all signs point to going back there. I don't know about this water. Yikes.
It doesn't look like it. It just, it just doesn't look like it. <laughs> it doesn't look right because this angle is so straight. So why wouldn't the water angle be straight too? I think. See, this is the part where I'm... That's what I'm saying. I'm learning perspective. I don't have all the answers. I feel like then we're seeing more of the edge of this. Or less. There is a door that appears only to those who need it most, who have no one else in the world to turn to. On the other side of the store is the witchcraft shop. Friend or foe, coming or otherwise, if your need is great and your hope is gone, there you will meet the Scarlet Witch. So she's like an oracle? Like she's almost like the, um, like the crystal ball lady that you go see for like readings, but in a superhero kind of way? I'd love that for her. What a fun character. I want to cosplay her. That'd be fun. I mean, everyone was cosplaying her for a while, so. I don't I don't cosplay a lot, but when I do, it's a, it's a Power Rangers villain. <laughs> That's true. Exercise and believability. Is my water believable? I'm gonna have to check it all out. Oh, I didn't write it down. I'm gonna write it down. Scarlet Witch. I wait for them to come out in trade paperback because I like um, having an encapsulated story. Oh, Professor Pig is terrifying. <laughs> That's so scary. Captain Cold would have been fun. And Captain Boomerang would be fun. That's a good one. Good choices. Very unique. Were you Captain Boomerang one day and then Captain Cold the next day, like at the same show? It's like, that's my Saturday costume. Way too much gear. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I, Halloween had really good weather this year. Um, but I walked around in a costume dressed as the villain from my series, Blossoms, and she, and it's a full, like, Zentai, do they call them Zentai suit? Like, my face was covered, and then it was, like, my hands, and, like, it was a full body suit, and then I had, like, the costume on top of it, and then I had a cloak, which would have been fine if the weather was how it usually is on Halloween, but it was, like, 65 degrees, and I was really, really hot, so I am with you. Oh, what a, that's a great, that's a great setup. That's a, oh, yes. Love couples costumes. Which killer was she Killer Frost? Which version? There's so many versions right now. I'm a fan. I like her in DC Superhero Girls. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's air conditioned indoors, but it's but then it's hot because there's people everywhere in the convention center, right? Yeah. I also just just now saw how late it's gotten, which explains why I'm so hungry. So I think I'm going to put a couple more lines on this. And, uh, and the, and the exper- oh, oh, good choice. Aunt Lucia, yes, you can't go wrong. I have a bump, I have her sitting on my desk, I'll show you this. I got cleaned up my desk. This is uh, the Bombshells Catwoman. 
I'm a big Catwoman fan. She's so cute. She's only in the box because I think the box is really cute. I do unbox things. I don't keep everything in the box. That's not really, or that, or I just didn't feel like taking her out. I recently picked up a bunch of like Sailor Moon toys here. The box isn't even in perfect condition. It doesn't matter, but I think she looks cute in the box, so I left it. But it's a noir edition, whatever, or noir. Um, yeah, I'm a toy collector for sure, and uh, more so than even a comic collector, I think. Um, but the. Uh, uh, yeah, I just got an, like a, a six months ago I got a figure and then I just recently got a couple of Sailor Moon ones that had come out because the new Sailor Moon is coming out soon and I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. But anyway, just sitting in the box, like I just put it on the shelf that it's gonna go on and then I didn't even open it. Like just ran out of time, didn't get, just didn't get around to it. I have Batman Catwoman, the Tom King run. I just bought it in hardcover because I, I bought it in single issues for a little while and then I just kind of quit going to the comic book store. Okay, I have the Nightcrawler figurine that was, like, they had a light-up sword. Do you know which one I'm talking about? I have a whole set of that line. Like, Gambit has a light-up, Gambit has light-up cards, Psylocke has a light-up, um, um, Psy Knife, and then Jean, no, Jean Grey's not it. Yes, that's, like, one of my favorite figures. I don't have any of the Marvel Legends ones. I was, like, I literally looked at them and I was, oh, is there? Is he, like... A different he's a different color they repaint him all the time there's that rogue that's also a polaris that's also electra i think <laughs> they repainted her like three times oh cool yeah i love those i love those old i think they're 90s those 90s toy biz toys i think they're great i used to have i used to have the blackbird jet and the danger room um i don't anymore i wish i did um Circumstances outside of my control, but normally I, you know, keep all my toys and they're really cool. So I love that Nightcrawler. Do you collect statues also or just the figurines? I gotta get myself a good deer. I have Electra. I don't have Daredevil. I have girl. I have more girls. Personal, personal preference. I have a lot of the, yeah, girl stuff. At this point, I'm just making up stuff that I think is on a ship. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, do you have the huge one that just came out? Mm, I don't know, four or five years ago, and it like, I mean, it's like three or three, three feet tall or four feet tall. Or do you have like the original one that came with, like the Toy Biz line that I'm talking about? I'm changing my stream now just to a toy collection. <laughs> Does he hold them? Oh, that's cool. I think I have, no, it's not a Sentinel. I have Onslaught, but it's the Hero Clicks. Do you play Hero Clicks too? I only bought the Hero Clicks. I didn't even play it until like 10 years after I had been collecting the figures for a while. And then I was like, oh, oh, there's a whole game. And then I learned how to play the game and I really liked the game. But at first I was just collecting the figures because I thought they were fun. They weren't even good at first. I just like that they were small and I used to put them by my desk. I wish I had, I wish I had the Sentinel uh, Hero Clicks, that'd be fun. Oh, that's smart. Repaint them like just better or repaint them into something else? Like re, re, I don't know, reuse them? Or just paint them because they're not that well painted. Some of them look amazing and some of them are rough. I'm not sure who, how they decide which figures get what treatment, but. Yeah, nice. I, my Nightcrawler. Oh, I have the Nightcrawler, and I bet you do too, since you collect Nightcrawler. I, I have the Nightcrawler that has, he's teleporting. So it has, like, it looks like he's teleporting. So it's like three different versions of Nightcrawler on there. Nice choice. <laughs> Smart. 
I remake Monster High dolls. Or at least I used to. That was my, like, hobby. Oh, look it up. I, I'm gonna... Hang on. I gotta stop everything what I'm doing now. I'm gonna find this teleporting... Hang on. Teleporting Nightcrawler. Puritals? It's old, but let me find it. Oh, maybe it's this one. No, it's this, it's this one. Here we go. All right, it's definitely this one. Yeah, here, it's, it was worth it, it was worth it. The link to the Discord again. There's the link to the Discord if you wanna, if you wanna share stuff, but yeah. Um, this Nightcrawler right here, yes, and it, he's worth, I mean, if you play it and don't just collect it like I did, but if you play it, I'm pretty sure he's worth Oh, you do? Yeah. Love that figure. Love that figure. My favorite Hero Clicks that I own, though, is um, it's the Bat Signal and Batman's standing next to it and Catwoman's, like, laying on top of it. That's my absolute favorite. I, I have that and I also have the Dark Phoenix and she's also my absolute favorite. But they almost kind of don't count because they're beyond figures. Um, they're kind of like almost like little statues, so it like kind of doesn't count. But either way, I put too much work into these ropes. Oh, they might look cool. Give them a little bit of texture. Oh, is he, like, super stretchy? Is his fist really big or something? Yeah, getting a one with a good paint job is definitely satisfying. They don't do it right just repaint it we use them we use them as stand-ins for dungeons and dragons all the time when we don't have the um the actual minis for the maps we just use heroclix figures because they're fun i wanted to get some of the ninja turtles hero clicks but when i went there i was like do you have any they were just like blanket like sold out like flat affect i was like all right well Okay, <laughs> I guess I will not look for that right now. Looks decent. I think just for speed's sake, I'm gonna just kind of reuse it here. Do pirates climb up the- they do. Like, I know they do, it's a whole thing. sure what I'm drawing. I have it in the sketch and I'm just gonna leave it for now but what, what is it? I don't even know what I was referencing. It's just like 
I don't know enough about ships to know what this is. Oh well. It looks cool. Rule of cool. They put more stuff on it. We've got more shippy, right? You can do that high, not really. Oh boy. Why do you have such tiny windows? Alright. <laughs> While I self correct myself here. Yeah, can I find I'm I'm not a ship designer by trade, so coming up with this on the flies kind of a journey. I'm kind of trying to look at the ships to figure them out, but also there's the, the ships are so far away in the pictures that I'm not getting detailed pictures of the deck, which is why these there's just just getting made up as I go. Feel Chad, how are these do they, are these docks coming together? Do you would you buy this? Is it believable enough? Oh, you know what? Let me look at it. Let me look. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! You weren't kidding! Alright, we're gonna take a minute. And let me see how I can. So we are, we are looking at this gloriousness. How do I make this? I gotta fix this window. Let me fix the window. Um, is it like here, something. Yeah, we're, this is how we're spending the last five minutes of this. This is how, this is how we're spending the last five minutes. Okay, so this respect. 
Wait, who signed this? I can't see this picture. This here. Oh, I'm in the way. Hang on. Let me move me. Um, this right here. The Who's here on the bottom? The, uh, <laughs> the bottom left. This is quite the collection. Oh, look at your Ollie. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, love the homecoming poster. Yep. yep. This this looks curated. I did see Breaking Bad. I don't remember him. No offense to him though. Wow. I love all the Nightcrawler variants. I think that's the best way to go, to stick to a character in. Oh, Moon Knight. <laughs> I love the Nightcrawler. Oh, okay. I don't know who that, I admit, I don't know who that is either. I apologize. Come back. Oh, this is, wow. Oh, I love the Daredevil shelf. This collection is so, it looks really well loved. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Like it looks like everything is really cared for and appreciated. It's not just stuff, which is how my collection is. I don't have just stuff. That's great. Yes. So which one did you? Oh, yeah. Which one did you paint? Tom Servo. Which picture is he in? One, two, three, four, or five. <laughs> bookcase. Okay, so he's in the bookcase. Ooh, look at the storm. I missed her the first time. Wow. Top left. Is Servo the robot thing? How do I know who Servo is? Ooh, I'm getting lightning. Watch out. The G. Yes! Oh, I figured out who it was. Oh, that's awesome. Would not have known it was custom. That's cool. Oh, this is. Oh, I love this Catwoman. I think I have this Catwoman. Yeah, I do. The Batman the Animated Series Catwoman. Oh, that's why I don't know what it is. Got it. I get it now. I put it, I pieced it together now. Okay. I, pie I have pieced it together now. That is... That, I have that, I have that Catwoman. I love her. The, um... Oh, you can't see her because of the, the mini window, but... Or maybe you can't. Yeah, you can. The one right on the top, in the second top, I have her. The Batman New Anime Series one. And then who's next to her? Is that another Catwoman? I don't know all the Funkos that well. There is. There's a lot of beast representation there. He's by the books where he should be, right? <laughs> I am I am so here for X-Men 97. I hope it's really good. That was dope. Thank you for sharing. That was super, super cool. Super cool! Thank you for letting me, letting me show it. I mean, there's always the weird stuff. <laughs> there's always the one random thing. Like I've got like the dragon sword sitting here, but then the monster high dolls. Like it's not really cohesive, but I feel like seen all together, it tells the whole story. I, lo I love your collection. Thank you so much for sharing. I, it's 1230. I think I need to eat. I think, um, this stream was a total success. This experiment was great. Thank you everyone who came. I totally appreciate it. I love the raid. That was so exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's the end of this experiment. I'm excited that I have some new, some new uh, comic aficionados here to chat with. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a super nice stream. I totally appreciate it. And I oh you know, all of it to you. So thank you so much for reaching out and finding some more folks to hang out. That was super cool. Yep, I do on Tuesdays and Thursdays usually. Um, I was just off last week, so I should be 
like six weeks straight on, all good, probably until summer. So um, yeah, and I'm just gonna keep developing the artwork on this comic and hanging out and talking X-Men and whatever else comes up. Um, thank you so much, you guys. That is the end of this experiment. See you on the next one. Bye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye.